Hey guys, hey, it is Take Out the Trash Tuesday. So there's a lot of noise in my neighborhood. I have had um, two landscaping crews roll in. I have had uh, two um, garbage trucks at this point roll in and um, it's been loud. I can't really get anything done and um, but anyway, let's cover James's video because I don't want to cover that whole goddamn thing. I'll throw some extra stuff in about um, what she did and what sh she's said. Like, for example, she keeps bringing up this um, ridiculous story of a cat eating butter. So, and that they ultimately put the cat down because the cat kept eating the butter. How? How did that happen, Chantel? Are you telling me that the, that you didn't have like a covered butter dish for your butter? That you didn't put the butter back in the fridge so it wouldn't go rancid? I mean, the, it, this doesn't make sense. It makes much more sense that you were the one eating the butter, but okay. She also has a story about her friend Shannon, who they are no longer friends. Their friendship fell apart. Um, and I don't care. I don't know who's right or wrong in that situation. But um, she was over at, having dinner at their house. I don't know how you remember all these meals, girl. <laughs> I can't even, dude. Um, and had asked for butter and was told by her mom, what do you think, we're rich? And was given margarine, which spreads easier anyway. I don't think it really makes that much of a difference if you're not eating it a lot. It's not great to eat a ton of margarine, but it's not going to kill you to have it once to spread on your bread. <sighs> wow. And she was talking about being poor, but yet she's so goddamn pretentious. You know? I mean, I wouldn't say that I was poor my you know my mom was she was pretty poor she was a single mom um a teacher and um my dad wasn't always paying on time child support and the child support amount was pretty goddamn low for two kids so we did have it kind of rough in the 80s, but we also had a lot of other family that we could go to. So we would uh, generally go up to her parents, right? Um, the unfortunate thing from that, though, is the, these were greatest generation um, grandparents who... Um, went through the depression and were super cheap about food you guys <laughs> this is why I never really had a severe weight problem I mean I have put on weight at times depending on um, my, re my relationships with dudes who may or may not have wanted to plump me up right but other than that I've been pretty much thin my entire life this is so weird 
Um, <laughs> we're poor. That's why I'm such a fatty now. Okay. All right. Hello, everyone. It's James here. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well. So today I want to discuss foodies weigh-ins and just some opinions and some ideas that uh, we can throw out there and see uh, what's going on. So as we know, Foodie weighed herself in Thailand. She also weighed. She's also weighing herself in Kuwait, and she's uh, hovering around 155 to 165 kg, right. which is 330 to 350 pounds, something like that. Now, if we are to believe that she is that weight, and it could be entirely feasible that she is that weight, uh, I'll tell you why that's feasible. She is an uncontrolled type 2 diabetic. And as I've said in previous videos, one symptom of uncontrolled type 2 diabetes is muscle loss. Because when you have an excess of glucose in your body, it's got nowhere to go and it can't be used. So your body will start eating itself instead. And when it eats itself, it will go for the muscles, it will go for the organs rather than the fat stores. Um, so few years ago she was what 390 i think it should be pointed out that neither james nor myself are doctors or nurses or have any medical credentials okay so he is speaking from the perspective of actually being a type 2 diabetic um I'm looking at this from being the granddaughter of a type 2 diabetic and he had brothers and sisters who also suffered from it, including um, one of his sisters had both legs amputated. So it, it does matter to me, like I'm concerned about it and every single time I go in to the doctor and I've had like eight blood draws this year because of all the issues I have with my leg. Um, I am repeatedly asked, do you have diabetes? And I'm like, you literally have my, my blood. Did you see my blood sugar being off? It's never off. Not once. My problems are entirely nerve damage. But anyway, I digress. I think. Um, and now she claims to be 330. So, it, it is feasible that she may have lost that weight in that time. But it's not a healthy weight to have lost in that time. So, it could be that she's lost so much muscle that her body shape has changed and that's why she is she has such a large i don't even know if that's it because she looks like she's still mobile she wants to sit down all the time but i, I think that's just laziness i don't think that she's incapable of movement she's walking around better than i am you know better than kalari is right um, which, by the way, James, Kalari has been saying that she wants to do some sort of collab with you. Please do your research on that. She um, has proven herself a grifter. And it's causing chaos in the React community. A large midriff area, let's say. Now... She could also be a Billy Bullshitter, <laughs> which is probably the uh, the more pressing thing. But then again, you know, she doesn't control her diabetes very well because of the way she's been eating. Especially with all the stuff that she's been eating in Thailand, it's, uh, it's very apparent that she's not <clears throat> having... She hasn't got a, a good diet, basically. So, um, I... I'm probably erring more on the side of her being a Billy Bullshitter, especially because we've seen video evidence of Foody <laughs> manipulating the scale. Now, I don't know if you saw Gorwald Ireland's video, 
Um, he reacted to her way in thing. And um, she clearly stepped on the scale and then stepped off the scale with one foot. Now, where I did that this morning, and the difference in weight is it was eight stone. So that's about, uh, that would be about like 80, 90 pounds, something like that. So it does make a big difference. So obviously this is all. I'm going to try this in um, a minute. And I am fully clothed. Okay. But for right now, I got to pause because the trash trucks running through. Okay. It appears to have driven off to do a different part of the neighborhood i hope let's see anecdotal and this is from me from doing a little simple experiment in my kitchen so if you take one foot off the scale then you will weigh less and it will be apparent that you weigh less so that is probably the more believable thing that she is doing now we also had a look at her in the science center weighing herself on the scales there uh, and it was also possible that she manipulated along with salah's help she manipulated the weight because it had her at three foot eleven or three foot one something stupid like that uh, i thought it was four foot but maybe i'm wrong the the bmi scale was you know going mad it was it was like watching a game of table tennis you right. know so yes i think foodie is lying about her weight loss foodie is lying about her weight what does she have to gain from lying well she has views from reaction channels to gain you know things like this where everybody puts their two cents in and it keeps people talking about her it keeps her well, not to say relevant but it keeps her in it keeps her in everybody's thoughts so it it's it could be a combination of things it could be her being a billy bullshitter and there's also the case for her having a ton of muscle loss which has resulted in her shape changing her body shape changing um i'd be interested to know what you guys think it uh, you know you could disagree with me you could agree with me but uh well, rule number one, Chantel always lies. So there's that. I reckon the, she's she's a liar, <laughs> basically. And I, I've, I've, I've watched a fair few videos uh, of people giving their opinions. And there are some people that are like, she's telling the truth. And there are people that are like, no, she's bullshitting. And yes, I, I do believe she's bullshitting. So, yeah, that's it from me. And I just wanted to weigh in myself on the subject. Thank you so much. So, you all take care of yourselves, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Unlock more saving. Well, thank you for that, James. That was um, a nice little summary of the weigh-in. That entire um, video was weird, obviously the butter butter story was i don't know why she keeps telling it over and over again <laughs> i really don't know why she keeps doing that but um this is what we got and i might try and recreate the weight thing too because i i find that unrealistic i think that the minute that salah went up to capture the weight she took a foot off the scale or put or both put a hand on him to um change her weight and um you know you don't have to alter the scale itself Chantel and you know that because you've been fucking around with this bullshit for a long ass time. Um, you know what? Lie about your weight. I don't care. Let your face get so large 
that you look like a freaking hamster that you're storing food in your cheeks I don't care not my problem you know um, we've been watching because you're such a dumpster fire that it's like well what's gonna happen next is she actually gonna lose some weight or is she going to have some sort of end of life story here because um, this is crazy town right here um, wow all right take care you guys um, I'll post this one I might do the weigh-in thing later today